this is a very interesting example of how mental projects become launched. I was standing at exactly this point on September 11, 2001, and I am looking straight ahead and where the two World Trade Center towers used to be. And I was standing there after I'd come down to the street, I had heard the aircraft hit the um, towers, but I didn't see it. But the North Tower was still standing. And so I was standing right here, and I was looking uh, pretty much due south, and it was an absolutely clear day. There was not a cloud in the sky. And as I was watching the World Trade Center, which was... Um, I, I watched the whole thing start to vibrate and as opposed to many of the descriptions that have been given of how the World Trade Center collapsed, what I was actually watching was the World Trade Center vibrating like a tuning fork. There were no staged or staggered explosions. So I was absolutely amazed, if not completely uh, infuriated and dumbfounded, to read and hear the number of conspiracy theories that were saying that the 9-11 uh, attacks were some kind of inside job and there was definitive proof that the World Trade Centers were imploded by some form of implosive demolition. Uh, when I obviously, through my own senses, saw something that in no way, shape, or form comported with that. And I think that that is what triggered a great deal of the project that I'm doing now is this wonderment of how people can come to believe things that were partially true or wholly untrue or barely true, just on the basis of some interestingly cobbled together documentary footage and a bunch of crapola being spewed around on the internet. It was a great, great lesson in the power and the necessity of, of direct personal observation and direct personal witnessing, and how quickly information and knowledge becomes degraded when the, uh, the source of the information and the receiver of the information are separated by several steps of either agenda-driven, crazy, or just irresponsible reporting bodies. Um, so th I think if, if that in many ways explains what got me going on my YouTube project was watching the, uh, watching the North Tower implode in, in, in a sort of a in one of the most amazing displays of, of structural engineering failure I think it's possible for a human to witness. Okay, well that's it for here.